This video will demonstrate the proper installation techniques for the air cell compression sealed PIM connector using a drill mounted power cable prep tool. This connector is compatible with Trilogy's air cell half inch plenum conduit and in conduit cables. For this installation, you will need the air cell plenum all in one power cable prep tool, a cordless power drill, flare tool, cable cutter, razor knife, gauge, abrasive pad, permanent marker, and adjustable wrenches. To get started, be sure to hold the cable at a downward angle throughout the entire process to avoid any shards or debris from entering the cable length. With the cable on a downward angle, squarely cut the cable using a cable cutter, using a rotating motion to attain a rounded cable end, making sure that the cable is straight for at least 12 inches behind the cut. Confirm that you have a rounded cable end cut. Next, measure and remove one and one quarter inch of jacket from the end of the cable using a razor knife. Insert a gauge into the cable to determine the location of the next air dielectric disc and mark that location on the outer conductor with a permanent marker. Cut the outer conductor with a cable cutter in the second corrugation valley behind the mark that was made on the outer conductor. Using a rotating motion to ensure the cable end is round. Now, cut the center conductor flush with the outer conductor and make sure that the center conductor remains centered at the cable end. Next, slide the drill mounted cable prep tool onto the cable end and operate in a clockwise direction. Continue until the tool no longer cuts away material and remove the prep tool while still in motion. Inspect the end of the cable to ensure that the tool has finalized its cut on a corrugation peak. A correctly prepared cable end will be on a corrugation peak and will have one inch of outer conductor exposed and one quarter inch of center conductor exposed. Remove any adhesive from the center conductor using an abrasive pad. Tap to ensure that all debris is removed. Next, slide the back nut of the connector onto the prepared cable end. It should snap onto the first corrugation valley of the outer conductor. If you push the back nut too far back on the cable, gently pull it closer to the end of the cable so the polymer claw will rest in the first corrugation valley of the outer conductor. A properly seated back nut will be flush with the outer conductor. Now. Press the flaring tool against the cable end and rotate the flaring tool with light pressure to flare the outer conductor. Remove any remaining debris by tapping lightly on the cable with the cable end angled down. Next, slide the front nut of the connector onto the center conductor and hand tighten the two pieces together by holding the front nut stationary while turning the back nut only. Continue tightening using the adjustable wrenches until the connector reaches a positive stop. Use short tightening strokes to maintain torque perpendicular to the connector and cable. Never use wrenches with channel locks as they can damage the connector body and lead to corrosion. The most reliable connector termination process is now complete.